You think I had like a shot on the on the on the Texans? You think? What, <laughs> what position? <laughs> what position? Probably like a safety or something. Say no, for sure, for sure, for sure. Safety, yeah. I was getting out there. <laughs> I was getting out there. I'm not going. <laughs>
<laughs> Lace up your bootstraps. But um, I heard, I heard niggas in Florida be like chasing rabbits. Chasing and rabbits. That's Chickies, a real. That's a real thing. That's a chasing real thing. And you gotta that's be quick on your feet. Thing. Yeah, no, you I'm know. saying I just obviously it makes sense, but that's a real thing. Bro. That's a real that's thing, a real and that's thing. why be so. Yeah. Lamar Jackson from Florida. From that chasing tell, chicks, Lamar right Jackson. There. Yeah, Lamar Jackson from Florida. That tell you a lot, right? Chasing there. chickens, right. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, where is uh, Tariq Hill from? Where, where she from? I think from Georgia. Yeah, 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 yeah. fast as a motherfucker. See, I feel like Texas. We're more like linear fast. I feel like, like we, we really like football track. Like you know what I'm saying? Like A to B fast. Yeah. I feel like Florida's more like pivoting him. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When I had quarterback up here, I was like, you know, when you sign your seven hundred million dollar deal, whatever y'all yeah. signed it. <laughs> what? It's just at this point, bro. No, at this point, bro. I'm yeah, about to go to quarterback ridiculous. school. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Re-enlist. I think I got four more years on my fucking I can go back to Howard and to try to figure this out. And he said his 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 dream car was a cullinan. Mm. So I imagine, do you have your dream car already? I do have my dream car. Okay, and it, it was, it is. My dream car was uh, a Chevelle SS. I know he yeah. went to Chevelle. Chevelle. And, and, I, and I bought that at a, I got that in 2017. I got a 69. A 69. Oh, did you you used to pull up? I feel like we, did you pull yeah, up to, 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 yeah, to uh, TSU and that yeah. day? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. How many cars do you own right now? Five. You own five. List of five. I got the uh, Cullinan. This I part, I got the, I got the the Urus. Gotta have the Urus. I got the Maybach. I got the the four F two fifty. Oh, yeah, the two fifty. The two fifty. Yeah, the big the boy. The two fifty. The big boy. And then Not I, the one fifty. And then I just got a little slider, a little Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. yeah just yeah, to ride around. Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta have the slider. Gotta have the slider. Yeah, oh yeah, you know how to put the Missouri kit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to keep it humble. I was trying to keep it. No. I was trying to keep it humble. You know what I mean? But my dog, my, yeah, 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 no. Yeah, no, with with the fishbowl, they, they, the, with the fishbowl, they gotta see who riding it, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, right, right. Pause, yeah, that's crazy. You gotta yeah. see who riding that jump, Paul. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's crazy. Do, do cops be fucking with you on like your tits and all that type of shit? They did with my Maybach, they pulled me over for that shit. Word? Show. Yeah, yeah. I ain't ran into no issues yet, but I'm like, man. What got you in the cars? It was just, that's just, a goal you have. Florida thing, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Florida thing. Um, the uh, the car that stands out the most in Florida was the donk. Mm, but yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. donk. So every uh, every corner you go by, bro, in Florida, you see a donk. Yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah, donk, yeah. You see, exactly. Hey, it'd be it'd be exotic. So that's what got me to the car. Yeah, I feel like y'all are more into the old school exotics. We into the old school Americans, like you know what I'm saying, old school caddies. Yeah. Goddamn Buicks, you I know, the ride buck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Guy ride buck. So if you were not a football player, what would you pursue? Music, for sure. No shit, anything, for real? Anything dealing with music, bro. Like as a performer, as, as behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, for sure. Executive. Executive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all. And you're really doing that today. Yeah, yeah I want to be involved with music. So my goal when I'm finished playing, mm -hmm. I own a couple studios. Okay. And it's to have this, um, it's to have this vinyl shop, right? And if the vinyl Perfect. shop, in the back, I want to have like this speak easy, so like the local artists come perform and like enjoy the vibes and, and have a drink, you know, dim the lights a little bit and enjoy your time. Yeah. So when we leave here, we go. Yeah, we go get on the phone. You know what I mean? Probably get, the phone, get there that we go. Then we get that shit going. That's perfect. Is that something so? Uh, is that something that even going into draft night that you knew like, all right, when I get my shit figured out, I'm gonna get into. The music business? Yeah. Since I was a uh, jit, that's what we said for. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, already, yeah, I'm already knowing. Yeah, you know, I'm already knowing. I always worried about myself and music, no yeah. matter what it is. And even before, like even in college, where you like- in college, yeah, for sure. That's amazing. And you was just all the time, you like, yo, I'm so cold at this shit. I'm about to turn this into a whole other. Got to. Yeah, no, that's a blessing. That's, that's fine. So when y'all had CJ on here, he said LA was over Houston Hooks. LA girls or Houston girls? It's not even close. So which? LA, bro. Oh, man. He's wild, right? He ain't been here that long, bro. Give him some time. He ain't been here. He ain't been here long enough, has he? <laughs> hey, wildin', what? Nah, he wildin'. That so, just, that's CJ, though. CJ, um, 
is a hometown hero, clearly. No, but he's still he's still new to Houston. Though. That's what I'm saying. He, he said, he, 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 I imagine, time. imagine if you ask people, then you've been misled so yeah, far. Facts. Yeah, that's what, we gotta take him to the cool yeah, shit. Yeah, take yeah. You gotta give him time, though. Cause that, all that shit's going. So all right. All that shit's going. <laughs> as change. a as a world as a world traveler, what city? Houston. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he said, bro. He said, got it, bro. And I always tell, like, I tell, like, when I went to the Pro Bowl <clears throat> in February, yeah, I was telling the players there, they was like, you like Miami or Houston? I was like, bro, I'd rather be in Houston over Miami, bro. That's just me. That's just me. Hey, man. I did, I did catch, I did catch you in Houston. You know, I ain't, you know, we ain't gonna talk about. It, but I, I mean, I did catch you in Miami. Yeah, you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my second home. You know, I was actually going to move to Miami in like 2016. So okay, okay. I was just working out there so much. So check this out. Since we on this Ox Money shit, what if you was in the car, say you got a couple girls, whatever, you on the way to wherever, little function, and it was like, yo, LT, get on the Ox. Are we turning up or we chilling? We, we, that's what I'm saying. We got two different scenarios. Okay. LT, get on the ox. It's, you got like six with you on the way to like a what holiday? Like a like a Labor Day function. It's somewhere. It's, it's we gotta turn that bitch up. So we gotta turn it up. Turn that bitch. What's up. your first song on the ox? I, know, I got left on my phone, but I might throw some gun. I ain't gonna okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Gonna vibe with the ladies, ladies, right? Yeah, I might throw some gun. And then check this out. If you was if you was on a one-man mission, if you was Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, yes, you were trying to set the tone. You had sir. the joint that you never cracked before. Yes, sir. Got to play something smooth. You got to play something smooth. You're trying to impress smooth. it. So the thing with that is, right, the thing with that is you got to play something smooth, but at the same time, you're not trying to come off corny, so you're not trying to come exactly. too predictable. Uh -huh. So what joint would you play for, like, a new vibe that you kind of get into? Sure, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like oh, Eric, if I do it. Ooh, if I had to. <laughs> see, I thought I might have to go Erica with it, you know what I mean? I had to go to Erica Bob, man. She got to be with that. Yeah. Gotta be like, with come on, you don't like that. You might have to get out the V. That's, 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 that's good to get right there. This is our last outing. Yeah, <laughs> this is our last. We, we have nothing else to discuss here. You don't like the Erica Bob. I'm not. Gonna, I'm trying to think of the last speak, speak, speaking. Speaking to Erica, bro, for my 30th birthday, which yeah. is next year, August. You turn 30 next year in August. Yeah. August what? August 2nd. I play us for the 30th, bro. I gotta have so my favorite artists, my favorite two artists of all time, bro, is uh, it's Sade and Erica Badu. Of course. So for the 30th, I gotta have one of those. One of those. You know, I'm a, I'm, we gonna, we gonna, <laughs> we, gonna, we, gonna wow. we gonna keep it super frank. You pull out Sade at your motherfucking bro, birthday party. Flex, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Sure, no, I'm telling Sade what she need right now. How much? Right, you got to. I don't right think now. there's a you number. You might early. have to. This, this is. We're talking about generational things here. Yeah, um, yeah. Shout out, Erica Badu, man. Not to even discredit how, it, in the same vein, but you know, she from Texas, man. You want to have your party in Texas? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's a. Maybe go, there's, yeah. There, I mean, there's lifelines in yeah, there, right. you know? So I would love to be at this party. Say less. Right. Uh, <laughs> y'all all invited. I would love sure. to pull up. Yeah, all invited. Yeah, yeah. Easily two of my favorite people in the universe. A celebrity crush? A celebrity crush for sure. Her. Yeah. Her. That's a good one. Her. So I'm, I'm sensing a theme here, man. Not to, I'm not like Miss Cleo or nothing, but I'm sensing a very, like, very calm soul energy. Yes, right sir. Here. So that's your vibe. That's like my the, vibe, bro. That's the that's, that's your vibe. vibe, bro. Hers, hers is her, elite. You know what I mean? Hers, hers is elite. Her, if you're watching, man. Good luck. Oh, I'll pull up on you. He said, I'll pull up on you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God, just let me know. <laughs> very elite. Very late. Listen to some great ass music every night. And for real. Let's say, I don't want to say top five. Your top three R&B artists ever. All time? Ever. ever. Sheesh. Ever. Off the top of your head. Sade. Sade's number one. Because, you know, R&B can be, we can go back to the Stevie Wonders of the world. That's why I like questions like that, because top three is like, what came to your head right Right okay, now, so. genuinely, it might be different tomorrow, but so right now, sitting on the couch. So right now, Sade, mm -hmm. Luther, Sade Luther, Mary J Blige. I got Sade Luther, Mary J Blige. I got a. 
I know mom, I know your mom was in the kitchen just. She was in the kitchen. <laughs> Ta- I'm, 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 Ta- no, I'm telling you, every time she clean the she in there playing. Playing like Mary J, man. Mary J. Mary J. Mary J so elite. Yeah. BZ, what do you about think? You, you, brother? Uh, me personally, I like Chris Brown, Usher. I mean, bro, they the two templates of right now. Honestly, I like Brandy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. The vocals was always super smooth to me, angelic like. Sitting up in my room. I'll tell you. Man, top three for me, R&B artists. Stevie Wonder is number one. Ooh. Stevie, he, no, he's my favorite artist ever. Stevie Wonder is number one. I think Sade is my number two favorite. She, bro, she's, she's crazy, bro. All right, I'll say my third. Eric about is my third. But that's just what it is. New age though. R and B. New age R and B. I'm not gonna lie. I, Bryson, I think is is my favorite, bro. That's okay. Question. Shout out to Bryson, man. Black's elite. Black's, Black's elite. elite. But Brent though. Brent. That's, no, they're all Brent, fire. They're Brent, all fire. It's a style. It's Brent, a style. Brent, Brent, number one now. Yeah, Brent is number one right now. Brent's, for sure. Brent's super cold. Yeah. Super cold. And just his career. Like I love like how. People are so receptive to like his sound and shit Thanks. like that. Yeah, but that's Bryce, another, I just jammed a... the most. Like you gotta really like if somebody was to look in your year end playlist, and nigga, you know niggas could say like whatever. I really listen to this and this and that. If I was to look in your phone to your year end playlist, who are you really playing? And it would be those three people. Yeah, four people. We gonna put a drum roll, please, in this jump. Y'all top three rappers. Ever. Ever? Ever. Not right now. Ever. Ever. I, I gotta I gotta put I gotta put Jay-Z in that one. Hove Vito. Gotta put Hove in there. Mm-hmm. I might have to throw Wayne in there, bro. Might, might have, have to. Might have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, yeah, yeah. Ready to <laughs> <laughs> Jay-Z, Lil Wayne. Damn. Ever. That's one tough. Ever. Jay-Z. Stand on it. I might have to go nip. Fuck it. Nip. Oh, that's go nip. Oh, that's Paul. You had to go nip. I love. You had to throw you know nip what? in there, bro. I love the love that Nip is receiving on this show, man. For real. Nip, nip I love crazy. the love that Nip is receiving on this goddamn channel. You know, my my is yeah, Biggie Hove, and I'm gonna go Andre 3000. Yeah, that's a good one. My cousin with, with the, my cousin with the last name Benjamin, man. You yeah. know, right, Benji. So Andre Benjamin. You know, it's, it's it's crazy that you have such a lifestyle brand because, you know, um, being a lineman isn't the most glamorous position. Obviously, y'all are in the trenches. Literally, y'all are the trenches. So, uh, I got to ask you, do you, do you consider yourself the 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 best dressed big man in the league? Absolutely. Is it is there? No question. No, is, absolutely. Is, is no there a comp? No question. Is there a comp? Is it comp? I mean, there's some people out there that can dress for sure, but. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got it, You know, I fuck, with, I fuck with LT style because. A lot of I hate when, like, when like big, especially a lot of these hoopers, man. They like they try to dress like a, you know, our sample size. We get to get anything off, like you know, we we can do that. And when the big, they try, but LT really gets it off without trying too hard. Like you know, what I'm saying like there's a lot of shit that LT wear. I'd be like, you know what? Even a five ten like myself really could get that shit off. So that's why I fuck with LT style. So what we did today, I knew he was pulling up, right? <laughs> so what we did today is. Me and Ken, we went and pulled up some uh, some clips. We are gonna break down each of these fits. All right, let's go. Let's go to the first one. Okay, what we got? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, 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 first of yeah, all, yeah, let's start yeah, with the top set. Yeah. Well, just just break down the whole fit. Let's break down the whole fit. So let's start from the top. Yeah. So with the hat, we got the chrome heart on the Come hat, on now. and then uh, as far as the necklace, we got the Chanel pearls. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, hold it down. The shirt. <laughs> Come on, hold down. Yeah, the shirt is a vintage. It's a vintage. I think in the '90s. You cut uh, the sleeves all yourself, or it's just? No, I just came like that. Came like yeah, came and like then with. Uh, Chains on the side of the pants, those mm. chrome arts. And then the pants. Not the cheap. Stussies. Right, yeah. And the watch I got on was a Frank Mueller. And then, you know, the shoes speak for themselves. The shoes. You know what I mean? I, I so, see you with the shoes on one day, actually. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. you with the shoes on, I was like, oh, yeah, I have to cop these. Yeah, yeah. Sacks, bro. You got to get the top set because them joints. So I remember when I got my pair, and I, I definitely didn't think they were going to be what they are now. I knew how special they were just as far as comfort and, and who designed them. Facts. But them shits right there, that's easy. That's an easy $15,000 pickup right now, right? Facts. You just If you just off the cuff with that. So, yeah, this is talking about Frank Mueller's and Tom Sachs in the first pick. <laughs> so we're going to go to to pick number two. Let's pick number two. Right, okay, so, Rick, just fit down. Yeah, so pick number two. Is first of all, where are you right now? Tokyo. 
That's, that's part of the. That's part of the fit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's part of the fit. That's so, part yeah, of the fit. I was, I was in Tokyo at this uh this moment. Yeah. Uh, the shirt I got on is uh Capital, which is a Japanese brand. Know that. And then the pants that I got on is M and Y, was also a Japanese brand. And then people don't know the shoes that I have on is uh is the Louis Forces. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a lot of people don't know. You didn't 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 know. Yeah, sir. And what bag? I know you got. What bag is you remember? No, I, I think I went shopping. I just. Okay, that's just. It's just some old shit. There's some old clothes in the bag, man. Okay. <laughs> this old thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Break. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm respecting the feats already. All right, let's get into this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the top is uh, one of my homies' brand is uh, Uncommon. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my homie brands that he started like a couple years ago. Yeah. And then the top is uh, Nike Lee. You know that? Yeah, Nike yeah, Lee. yeah. And then uh, the pants is Dior. Okay. And then you know I Subtle. got the you know I got the the head it down. Man, you know, the, you know, the first you know, load, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Still, yes, sir. <laughs> so it's too crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm, I mean, we're trying to put these big on, man. Y'all gotta learn how to dress, man. Yeah, to, take it from LT, man. See, see. Crazy, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. This in Tokyo as well. This in Tokyo as well, but yeah. with the with the hat, I'm repping Houston, bro. You know what I mean? So I got What's the Houston the got the Houston hat on and then with with the bandana I got on, that's Capital. Yeah. I'm Capitown from, from head that's to toe. Yeah, yeah Capitown, head, head, head to toe. The the the, the uh, bandana, the shirt, the pants, and then I got the chrome heart chains on. Yeah. And then I got some Nike shoes on. Sure. Yeah, right, right. Going very crazy. I'm not going front. Yes, sir. Right. I think this is probably one of my favorite fits that um, I put together. Yeah. So let's start. Let's start from bottom up. Okay. So okay. What I, got okay. My, what I got on my feet is the Margellas. Yeah. A lot of people ain't gonna know that, but the Margellas. Mm -hmm. I got the Sakai zones for the pants. I got the. Look at her. He like. Oh, let me get that. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sir, man. For the shorts, I got the Sakai zone. Then I yep. got the Chrome Hearts, and then I got the. Uh, damn, what's that shirt called? It's like Riches. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got the riches with, with the chrome heart on, and then I got the yeah, uh, the, the Batman Roly on with the white bed. Yeah. Now, you know, it's just details, bro. That's how I like to put my fit yeah, together. Yeah, man. Young boy. These are what? Nah, they ain't leather. Uh uh. Mm -mm. They kind of like Chucks. Young boys, y'all could dress like this. Y'all y'all read y'all contracts. Y'all could dress just like hello, this. Man, hello, right? hello. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So, who inspired you on, on, on your style of dressing? Just. Man, crazy to say this, though, but. My little brother actually. For real. My little brother actually. That's like, loud. It's usually the other way around. Yeah, with you. my little brother actually taught me like how to dress. Because mm. in middle school I used to go out the house crazy. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, but you know he he the one that started. I know they were picking on you though. It just even if your fit was weak, no, like no, this big no, ass. No, no, I'm this, gonna leave this thing up. Where we from though? You know you you gotta learn how to jump. Got to. You gotta learn how to jump. You got to. Now, and the, the biggest thing is the colors, man. You can't just be matchy matchy. You know? Yeah, you can't be matchy matchy. That's nah, what I dislike nigga. the most. Nah, nigga, be man. Can I tell y'all something? I fried chicken for the first time in my life yesterday. Damn, how was it? How was it, bro? You didn't do good. <laughs> you didn't do good. Not the first time. You got the, nah, not the first I time. I did great. You did great. I did, I did good. I did good. I fried it with the oil. I fried it. Yes. So the thing is, the chicken, the moisture, great. The It was a little too crispy, crunchy. Gotcha. But no, but the 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 throughout the chicken, great. Too I didn't just cook for myself, neither. Hello. I mean, I cook just for myself, neither. Yeah, no, no, no. It's all, yeah, just just talking about about food and shit. Yeah, I, I fried chicken for the first time. You cook, LT? Yeah, I know how to cook for sure. Yeah, for sure. We had like, to cook in college. Like not like fried alligator, like full of shit. Like. <laughs> no, nah, you ever had fried alligator? I'm um, no nah, fried take take it, bro. For real? Dead ass, dead ass. Where? All right, look at it go crazy. Cam said, "What's your sneakers of the year list looking like?" What dropped so far? What, bro, what? Don't ask, don't ask me, bro. I be all over the it's place. It's crazy. Too, I love bro. sneakers. It's just at this point, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm not. I'm not waiting on the drop, bro. Yeah, like yeah, man. I'm not waiting on the what drop. did you pick up? What's your favorite pickup this year? Might be the Tom Sachs, bro. Yeah, like what I'm saying, it's like shit like that. Yeah, like yeah, my, my favorite just... pickup of the year is is the Black Metallic Files from from 2011. It's yeah, just like exactly. No, nah, just the Black Metallic, just the just the black and the with the. With, yeah, exactly. That's my favorite pickup of the year. Oh yeah, so I want these. Yeah, I want these. I want these Louis Forces. I yeah. think it's the purple, yellow, green. Just the wild one. The yeah. wild one, bro. Yeah. yeah. For those, bro. They done made those in 13s, bro. I've been looking for a long time. 
<laughs> Alan over here. Yeah, bro. Uh, Alan over here. Post already hit me up for the clothes. So I got right, right, right. right. I gotta get my thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alan over here poaching. If I had to pick, man, what I'm looking for, I, I need them. Um, them. Uh, I want to say it's like the the white like snake skin fifteens. I want to say, just just random. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like the white gray snake skin. Why not? I don't know. Shit. Because my new thing now is I'm just trying to wear everything. It's like, yeah, figure out. That's why I've just been wearing, like, shorts a lot. I just want to wear every shoe, like, whether it's Forces, whether it's... Gotcha. I'm not going to say any brand that's not Nike. Um, <laughs> so you, you, you ain't rocking with oh, Nike. My. You ain't rocking with Nike, huh? <laughs> of course, you know, you, you, you know it's, it's the Jumpman way. Okay. But yeah, I'm just trying to wear all my shoes, man, and just as make it as interesting as possible. Facts. You know? But... Yeah, it's been it's been weird for sneakers. I'm I'm I, I talked to uh I talked to Cactus earlier. I can't wait for them Cactus Plant um the twos. Now not the Cactus Plant. I'm I'm looking forward to those. That's gonna be my favorite pickup for this year. I'll okay. say. I got a question for you, Chase. Though, what's going on? What's your favorite watch? My favorite watch that I own, or just in general? Just in general, that you own, whatever. Um, just the Rogo Presidential was just so, was so important to me, so. I would say that one. Like, I, I really I really love and appreciate that one. Just because I feel like that was the one that was like, I figured this out. Like, from being broke to buying that was like, it was the most, like, sentiments. Everything after that is like collector's pieces and, and shit like that. So just the Rose Girl, I remember buying that was just like, all right, I, you know, I, mama, I made it type shit and like, whatever. And it got to be Rose Gold. It got, it, no, no, everything I wear is Rose Gold. Everything I wear is Rose Gold, yeah. Are you? you watch yeah. That I have to cut. Or the uh, tank watch. Yeah, bro, that whole. <laughs> no, not not the tank, but the crash. The crash watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crash. That crash. You, know, that you already got, you got somebody lined up. You about to get your. Uh, if you know somebody, please. I uh, do. Send my I definitely do. So, I so. definitely do. You big, you big art collector. No, I'm sorry. So I just bought a crib out here like a year ago. Hey man, so I'm looking for some art. We can link you with my boy, man. Shout out Easy. Whenever he got time, you know he a world traveler, but Easy, he'll get you right. He'll get you super sturdy. I think almost damn near every piece in my crib is is from Easy. So, yeah, yeah. So if you got anybody on your your watch list or whatever, just just yeah, let me know. Easy, get you right for sure. That shit is important. Art and watches, man. When you get to a certain level, is and land. Let's not and land. Need that land. Need that land. So LT, man, I know you're a busy guy, bro. Before we get out of here, we just ask all of our guests on this Ox Money couch to put us on the three different things. It could be a movie, it could be food, it could be a belief, it could be something your grandmother told you, it could be whatever. So we just, we asking for three different things, man. See, I'm a big, so I'm gonna put y'all on food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do that. So, so I don't know if y'all like hand rolls, sushi. I got this spot called Handy's. Handy, okay. Handy's. Where's this at? Handy's, I think that's in the Heights. Okay, in the Heights, in Washington, in, uh, in Houston, the Heights. The Heights in Houston. I know a lot of people think of Washington Heights. Yeah, yeah, okay. Handy, uh, when you come to Houston, go to Handy's. Gotta go to Handy's. Okay. Uh, I gotta think of these. I've never been there. No, but Handy's got two. Or, yeah. and I'm a, yeah, I'm a sushi guy. I'm a, I gotta go to Handy's. Uh, I gotta yeah. think of these next two spots. Fluffy's Bistro for oh, sure. I heard Fluffy. about Fluffy's. Yeah, Fluffy's nice. Fluffy's nice, a food truck out there in uh, Jersey City. Okay. In Jersey City, that's where I gotta go to. Jamaican Pondy Road. Where is that at? Jamaican Pondy Road, Word. bro. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, break that bro. down, y'all. Jamaican. What? Jamaican Pondy Road. No, nah, nah, I order from the same two joints every time. I order from Caribbean Jerk and no, Cool sir. Running. Cool. Better than all that, bro. What? Yeah. Jamaican Pondy Road. Bro, you heard that? Look from that one, bro. We. It's like a house, yeah. It's Word. like a house. No, five, bro. You never had it? Bro, we always looking for Jamaican, bro. For real? Jamaican Pondy Road. Well, they got the, they ain't got the, the cocoa bread with the, with the Let's just, with just the beef patties, just pull up. Look at our ice and pee, <laughs> rice and pee, <laughs> dry chicken. <laughs> my youth. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for real, for real, for real. Nah, it's live, man. So, shout my dog LT in the building, man. I want to thank BZ for coming through to this motherfucker today. BZ, thank you, bro, LT. So thank you, man. For sure. We very glad to have you here in the city. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate yeah, you yeah, pulling yeah, up to this Ox Money yeah, shit. Yeah. Whenever you want to pull up, you got some shit you about to drop. You can pull up here whenever. Say less. Yes, sir, man.